Hi guys, Full Metal Hell here with the K-Dang K-70 Sky Warrior. I just want to show you guys real quick what I did was I went ahead and took off the landing gear. Alright. They're kind of cheesy anyway because on the inside you can tell it's not like a round tube. XK quadcopter actually has a nice little round tube uh, landing gear. At least they're around all the way, you know. These are like half, <laughs> like fake. Uh, anyway. And these kind of create like a pendulum effect when they're hanging on the bottom. I believe they do, you know, a little bit of drag, a little extra drag. Because I noticed on the Sima X8, when you take off the uh, landing gear, it flies a little more sporty. Same with a couple other ones. JGR CX1, actually, without the stock landing gear, flies better as well. Uh, so, what I did was I took four... These are actually, uh, these are pads for, these are called landing gear pads. Uh, they're actually uh, foams. Uh, I'll include the link. They come in a four pack. They're made by Terret. Uh, here is the packaging that it comes in, the Terret landing gear uh, foams. And they come in red and yellow. And I put the red ones in the front and the yellow in the back. I use a product called Shugu, guys. This is actually something, if you're into RC cars, if you've done any kind of RC car racing, you know about this. Because <laughs> this is what a lot of guys use to put their uh, Lexan uh, bodies back together when they crack, you know, just to get a little more use out of them. And it's also good for a million other things, too. But it's like hot glue in a way, but you don't have to heat anything up. You don't need no gun. And But it dries. When it dries, it's a little flexible, but it's strong like super glue. Good stuff, guys, good stuff. And uh, they sell it at Walmart, actually, right next to the shoes. That's what I used to hold these on, actually. What I did was I, like I said, I pulled the landing gear off where you can, you can actually see where it, it stressed these screws out a lot, like all the hard landings and the crash and stuff. So took that off, went ahead and put these on there, uh, just glued them to the bottom of these little covers, actually. So that's the cool thing, because these little covers only got two screws on them. So I could take these covers off very easy, and I could put this on my other K-Dang if I decided that I want to switch landing gear from one to the other. The banged one's in perfect shape. It's uh, it's still brand new. but uh, So like I said, I could use this landing gear for either quadcopter. And as you can see, when it lands... It, it gives it a nice soft landing, you know. It doesn't bounce and flip over. It's just, man, it's so much nicer. And it flies way better, guys. I'll tell you the truth. It flies way better with this uh, stock ones hanging down. It flies way better with these little guys on there. The reason I left them so long is because I wanted to still be able to, like, if I want to put something like this, my, my uh, Mobius cam on there, it'll still fit no problem and won't and won't touch the ground it'll still clear clear the ground still has about that much clearance so but it's the same ones I used on this quadcopter actually I just didn't have the red ones you know for the front I just had the yellows and uh, what I did was I just split these in half actually same concept though guys same concept want to show you what it looked like give you guys an idea I'm gonna fly it around a little bit. I want to show you it's a little bit more sporty like this, and still leaves room to put a Mobius cam and a uh, a dampening type mount. Still high enough off the ground to do that. All right. All right. Should be good now. All right. Go ahead and just fly it around a little bit. This is just going to be a real quick demonstration of what it looks like with the landing gear mod. All right. Want you guys to see what it looks like in action. We're going to include this with the video as well. Somebody had uh, said that they had broke their landing gear on this particular quadcopter and was trying to find parts for it and I had told them just to stay tuned that I would have a landing gear mod video coming up so this is kind of for him sorry I don't remember your name I will have to look maybe I can find it and I'll add it up above here but 
This is for you, man. <laughs> Alright. I believe we are in the high right now. Yeah, okay. Good. As you can see, once again, <laughs> I don't know what the deal is, but it sure is windy. Uh, it's like every video I have, I think it's been uh, windy. Alright, hold on. Alright, that's one. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Now we're in third rate. That's what I was... Like I had said earlier, uh, this looks kind of very similar. It's, it's funny. It's like a big brush version of the XK X251. Actually got a picture of both the boxes side by side. <laughs> kind of funny because they're both at the same view, kind of like this view right here. Yeah, and they look very similar to each other. This is a sweet quad, though. To be brushed, man, I'll tell you what. I mean, it does really good funnels. Uh, you know, for a big, powerful brush quadcopter, it's really uh, maneuverable. Real maneuverable. The yaw on this thing's fantastic. You have a lot of fun with it just because the yaw's so good. And I'll tell you what, with this landing gear mod, it really does uh, make it a little bit more sporty. Ah. Trim the trees, trim the trees. Anyway guys, we're gonna keep this short. I just wanted to show you what it looks like in action. I think it looks really cool. Really, really cool. I'm really digging this uh, this particular landing gear mod, and the red actually does help to keep orientation. I keep this. There we go. Hold on. All right. The red tubes really do help with the orientation. You know, it really does give you a good idea of the front from the back. You know, and when you land, uh, see how nice and soft it just landed. Didn't flip over, didn't crash. Let me show you that again. Anyway, the red does help with the orientation. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. With all four pods being yellow, kind of gets a little confusing sometimes. Anyway, guys, hope you like my landing gear mod and uh. Oh, I want to show you something else too, guys. Uh, I want to show you how it lands. All right, wa watch this. You ready? We're going to actually kind of set it down hard. I want you guys to see how this thing lands too. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> how you like that? Nice and soft landing. You see that, guys? I'll tell you what. I think it's really cool. I think it really saves it when you're coming down hard like this like boom perfect nice and soft landing you see that guys well anyway guys hope you like my video uh my little modification here uh it really does help with not only the landing it makes it a little more sporty and it helps with the orientation with these red tubes in front and this little package i believe is only uh i think it's like five dollars i will put the link on there for the tarot landing uh foams and i hope you like the video guys uh please like and subscribe peace out